Pompano was lit. My bro was lit. Niggas were getting dope from Bogota, Colombia, fam. You feel me? And he still got property. You feel what I'm saying? His glory, his mama. Miss Glory, his sister, Lisa, and Wanda. You feel me? They still riding in forests. You feel me? They, you can still see the money. That nigga, see, he been going since 97, and you still see that bitch, they still got highs. Nigga was getting hella money, bro, hella money. But then, you know, he killed the young nigga. Nigga broke into his car. He killed the nigga, fired him off. He ain't know it was a young nigga. He just know he broke into his car. So he killed the nigga, but he beat it. But at the end of the day, that shit came back to hunt him. That shit came back to hunt him, dog. Yeah, chick, man. They just call that boy Bogota. Craig Frazier, bro. That nigga been going since like 96. Right. Everybody want to be like Chicken Man, man. Everybody want to be like Chicken Man. Everybody want to be like Chicken Man. Chicken Man had like one of the little hats. Everybody want to be like Chicken Man. Like chicken man got them like bro. Cubane a lot. Like what was that what's that relationship about? It's about Cubane. That's my daddy. That's your daddy? Yeah, that's my blood. That's yeah, so a lot of people don't know that man, but that's crazy, bro. So you go from the chicken man to Cubane to you. Street billboards. You know, I come to understand about people, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of times you you can only spend an evening with people, you know. You know, and other than that, you know, gotta be careful you stop and um inquire for directions along the road of life, you feel me? Exactly, exactly. You know, so that's what, I, you know, I'm just becoming more wiser, man, and, and the person who I fortify my, my life around, you know what I'm saying, the right friendships, you know what I'm saying? All oh, this is a major factor for me to be back, you know what I'm saying, to go back where I'm trying to go and to leave what I'm trying to leave for my kids and my family, you know? Right, it's well worth it. I mean, that what you, you, is you, is it, that's your blood. Right, now, you know, that's... Like I say, man, you know, I just, I got a low tolerance, man, for me to rockery, man, so, you know, I can't, I can't do that, so it's real, you know, important that I keep myself, you know, elevated, man, you know, and keep my mind right, that's all I've been focused on, mind, body, and soul, you know, just coming back a new person, you know, because my whole thing is to come back and try to help all the women, you know, got these, these kids, you know, they're raising by themselves, and, you know, just try to guide the youth, you know, in a better way, a positive way from what's going on now, you know? Right, right. Right, so that's that's my biggest dream, you know, and I know I'm going to be able to fulfill these things with the right people around me, you know, people as yourself. You know, you've been here, what, since 1988, you say, right? Huh? <laughs> so, you know, you still, you know, you still do what you do, regardless of what your life ever did, you know, the course it take. You know, I still have people like you that I can depend on, you know, to give me great advice. And that's what I cherish the most now about life in general, you know, opposed to, you know, the other things that I used to look at in a woman. It's different now. It's just all about the mental stimulation. And the physical, you know, that's going to fade at any time. But, you know, your mental, your mind, if you keep that sharp, that's going to last for your whole life, you know? It most definitely will. That's where the value at. Right. So, you know, like I say, man, just becoming more wise and, and everything. And it's been a real teachable moment, you know, the moment just I had to sacrifice so many years, you know, to get to the, the point where I am today, you know. But, you know, God don't make no mistakes, and I believe in something bigger than myself. So that's why I'm always feeling the way I feel upbeat. You know about what's to come you know true true i want i want i want to touch on something that we spoke on earlier though um right once you identify all the obstacles that that would complicate your time you doing your time and and moving forward did it change your view on 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 loyalty faithfulness or anything like that Right, most, no, no, most definitely right. Cause, like I say, you, you, you taught me this one though about the truth and um, truth over loyalty. You know, I like that. You know, what I'm saying I had gave that to one of my mans and told him the hashtag and went, um, about a few weeks back. But you know, I, I base everything on truth now. I don't. The loyalty part is it's like so flawed. I can't, I can't really say loyalty is is loyalty no more. You know, cause it's like life can always continue when you're doing this type of things and. And, and people tend not to be loyal anymore because they got to be loyal to who they dealing with at the time. So I got trust issues after doing this type of time, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and I, I think, and I, 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 I feel you on that one. Right, but like I say, man, you know, we talk all the time, and, you know, I'm coming back to live a super fly life, man. So, you know, it is what it is. So if nobody don't know what that is, they better go watch the new version of Superfly, you hear me? <laughs> You know, so it's like I'm coming out there to live a good life, a fabulous life, and have all type of fun, you know, unrestricted, you know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what it's just going to be, you know what I'm saying? If you're available, you're available. If you're unavailable, you're unavailable. But I, 
want to just have a beautiful life, man, and just live the rest of my life in harmony, peace, and happiness. You know. True, true. You, you, you deserve yeah. it. You deserve it. You know, you, 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 you did a lot of channeling in the last, the last twenty-four years, and um, it don't make sense for you. The, the you've been torn down, built up, torn down, and built up. I mean. At this point, you you where you at, and, and you know you st you stick with it. Do what what you feel is best for you. Right, that's what I, I feel like that's the only way I'm gonna be able to survive. Cause if I come back with the same mind frame and creating the same type of problems, you know why why waste what I have little in my life? You know, telling a bunch of lies. That's something I ain't gonna be able to stand on. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't stand on the truth. That's why I say everything based on me is is being up front. You know what I'm saying? And, it is what it is, and whatever position that is, that's what the position gonna be. But I know in order to win a championship, you got to have a team. You know what I'm saying? True. So if ain't nobody willing to play on team team ball, man, you know I can't do the individual statistics anymore because that don't really get you nothing but plaques. You know I just said this before. It's all about winning. You know what I'm saying? All the winning, I got to have the right people around me. I can't have no jealousy and envy around me. You know what I'm saying? Because all I'm doing is basing this on wealth. And that's it, financial wealth, financial peace, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. So, well, I, I got a saying for that. I always tell people I'd rather be real and rejected than fake and accepted. But, um, it, it, you know, to each his own. People, people, people play just like you had to build build the world around you to um, to deal with, to, to handle, be able to handle your 24. You got a lot of people that they build, they have these fantasies and these worlds too in their head, you know, and, and I mean to each his own but a lot of them is just like it, it's, it's something out of a book it ain't it ain't it ain't real it ain't right, real right that's right that's why like i say i can't say that man i've just been truly blessed man i always had this state of mind and only a few got really chance to understand my mind because i don't really share these type of things i guess that comes with me being a capricorn you know what about so, you um, being you know, a capricorn you know, I don't, I don't really share a lot of stuff like the stuff that I have, that I have in my mind, the way I talk, the way I think. You know, you go back day to day. You know, ever since you met me, you know, I've been the same guy when it comes down to talking about my my dreams, my future. You know what I'm saying? The things that I want to have in life. You know what I'm saying? That's a rarity because you know a lot of times when I talk to people, you know, they tell me like, you know, they dealing with people that don't even have dreams. So it'd be hard for me to understand like, how could you indulge in things like this with you, you your, your significant others don't even have dreams? This call is from a federal prison. You understand me? Right. I, I completely. You know I, I know, you know, I never was one to live from day to day. You know what I'm saying? I was always thinking 10 years ahead, five years ahead. You know, I salute everybody who out there winning, whoever doing the real estate thing now. That was something I was on way back in 1991, 92. You know what I'm saying? But I just didn't have the right team mm -hmm. around me. I didn't have the right person beside me. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Right. But like I said, at the, at the same time, you know, I was gifted to get one more chance, you know what I'm saying? I'd just like to give out a special shout out to one woman that really made that possible because if she had told him, and it was my son's mother, you know, Chrissy Jones, if she had told and fold on two situations with me, I would never be seeing Papa no again. So I'm always going to have to have, hold her in high regards and, and give her all the respect in the world and wish her all the happiness and financial peace in her life. You understand me? Oh, most definitely. Absolutely. Ain't, ain't, ain't no other way. Right, so, you know, like I say, you know, my mom, man, you know, she, she's really the queen, you know, but I do have someone that allowed me to come back and bathe the city streets again, and, and that's a blessing in disguise, and like I say, I'm always going to salute her, man, you know, for whatever she's doing, I see positivity, and I hope she continue to win, you know? Yeah, yeah, that much respect for that. I mean, you, you, um, acknowledging her or whatever, and that, it, it, it takes a lot. It takes well, a lot, right. it takes, takes a lot to be a person, period, but you know, I mean, when you real, when you real with, with certain things, it it is <laughs> unbelievable. Right. It's unbelievable, and that was something that you know she was taken out of her, out of her comfort right. zone and away from away from her family. So that that was right. that was deep. That was deep. Yeah, that's why you know that's why you always got to stay solid, man. You know, if they love you or hate you, you know they're going to always have to respect real. You feel me? And that's my saying. You know. Yeah, yeah, real, real and truth. It facts. It ain't even facts no more. If you ask me. It's true. Right, right. Truth, truth is bigger than fact. Right, that's why I like chopping up with you to get a woman's perspective, you know what I'm saying? And we we at a point in our life we can always share these different ideas and, and re just be real true, honest, and authentic about the way we see life. 
and this is the way I see the world. You know what I'm saying? This is a chicken man mentality. You know what I'm saying? This is this is chicken talk that I'm gonna come and do. This is the way I'm gonna, I want to spark the world when I come back and be able to give these kids a boost, man, out there and quit following something that's not really real. You know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. You know. You know, everybody online, social media, they're getting up trying to see who's going to make the best commercial. That's what I call it, you know what I'm saying? But whoever buying it, you know what I'm saying, they, they're not buying our fantasy. So if, when I come, I want to I wanna make this stuff real, you know what I'm saying? you got to be able to gravitate to the truth. Because if you, you you chasing a lie, you're going to chase that for a lifetime, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, and you, you, I'm, I I take my hat off to you. I, I give you all, all the... Um all of all the props now you you know it, it it took a lot it this it takes a, a man a real man to uh to deal with what you dealt with and um strong intelligent i will say that i've seen that times and time again with you know different different situations very intelligent i'm sure you whatever whatever your plan is i guarantee you you're gonna make it happen and um it'll always be my blessings to you exactly like I say, man, I just appreciate everything, man. If you give me the opportunity, man. And like I say, you always send me encouraging words and you give me my flowers while I'm living. You know, so like I say, because I don't want nobody really um, crying at my funeral when it's that time. You know, if you miss my weight, you're going to miss the biggest show ever because I don't want to, you know, to do the casket thing. You know, I'd rather do the cremation thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Why give my money? Why give my money to the funeral home, man? When I can leave it back for my grandkids. See, that's a different than me and the regular thinking person. Why put thirty, forty thousand dollars down in the ground when I can get thirty, forty thousand dollars of my grandkids in a wheel and tell them to do something, go buy some dirt with it, go invest in another building with it? You, you see what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so, that's, so that's, that's my that's, mindset. That's knowledge. That's knowledge. But I will say yeah. this: it's um. Today May twenty fourth, but guess what? It's it's the ending of an old ending. And a beginning of a new beginning. Exactly. And like I say, you know, time running out fast, man. You know, this is going to be my last Christmas in here. You know what I'm saying? So I thank God for that. You know, it's, like I say, I, I'm, I'm right on the turn, you know. It's just only a matter of moments or minutes that I'm going to be there. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be showtime. You know, it's time, to, it's time to get in the groove. I'm not a star no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm a director now. You feel me? <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna sit out there and try to play, be in the movie. I want the youngsters who got the wave. I salute you, have the wave. But I just want to be able to pull up on a few of them. You know what I'm saying? We go out to dinner and I give them some real boss game. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the main thing is getting out the game. You want to walk away undefeated. You know what I'm saying? Right. True. Exactly. Yeah. So the only way, only way you could do that is lay down what you're doing, whether you're scamming, whether you're doing fraud, whatever, whatever the case might be. You know what I'm saying? You just want to walk away with it because one thing about it, no amount of money is going to be worth your freedom, especially if you catch a big number, 20 or better, 15, even 10. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Like I say, I just feel I've been truly blessed, you know what I'm saying, to have the type of people that still, you know, believe in me and still be there for me, you know what I'm saying, when times are hard, when I need somebody to talk to, you know what I'm saying? Because I want the youngsters to know that it wasn't easy, man. Like, you know, hey, man, people that you really think that you can depend on, they're not going to be there. I might call somebody and they, they can't pick the phone up now. You know what I'm saying? They, they done committed to something else. But I got some people that they going to always pick the phone up. They don't, know, they don't matter who they committed to or whatever they're telling these people. So that's why I'm able to stand tall and, you know what I'm saying, through it all and I ain't no bugger boy ain't no phone stalker so it's like that when I need somebody to talk to I always know I can reach out I'm always gonna get emails from people telling me to keep my head up stay strong and I, and that's one thing I respect about all the people that's been here I'm gonna be a part of their life and like I say I'm gonna have their back when I get there it's bulletproof love forever with me you know words from chicken man that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep my head up. Like I say, and I salute my old girl, man, Miss Gloria, man, all my sisters. I send love to Ashley, you know what I'm saying, Rhonda, Lisa, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, all my nieces and nephews, and I got plenty of grandkids now. So that's my big old team right there, and I'm coming back to work with that. I'm going to start with that first, and we're going to share the love after that, you know what I'm saying? And that's that's just what it is. I can't be but who I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I'm sure they waiting. <laughs> No doubt about that, you know what I'm saying? It's so much love waiting on me, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, man, I'm just going to get out there, man, and do what I do, man. And it is what it is. And like I say, I salute all, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who win, and I salute you, man. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you're going to retire out the game if you're still in the game, because... This call is from a federal prison. If you replace your freedom, you're going to miss out on so much, so much of your your children's accomplishment, your grandchildren, you know, even your, your parents, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, so that's the that's the most damaging thing that I had to endure. That's the biggest sacrifice that I had made, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't realize that all the things are going to change on me like this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't realize that. I was so 
caught up that I would be been out of prison by now, but me being who I am, still doing the things that I do, you know what I'm saying, it backfired, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, just take it off for love. Yeah, no doubt. We're going we gonna to do that, and we're going to keep this thing true for over loyalty forever. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I appreciate everything, man. And you know, it's more power to everybody. And I'm just coming soon. Like I say, man, a lot of people want to see who Chicken Man is. And I'm ready to sit down and talk about this. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to set the record straight. Because, you know, the newspaper man told a story. You had people tell stories. But they never really got the real story from the man. So that's why I'm coming back to tell my story. You know? Well, we can't wait to see you. <laughs> and that's and I can't wait to be there, and, and it's coming soon. Like I say, you know what I'm saying. I'm talking about something like 180 days. I feel like I'll be in the streets. You know what I'm saying? You will keep smiling, just like you said, and stand tall. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. That's all I know how to do. And like I say, you know, me and me and money. You know what I'm saying? We never signed a prenup, so I ain't worried about that. You feel me? Hey, shout out, man, to 38, man. I appreciate everything you're doing for me, man. You know, you've been riding with me 10 years strong, man. That's what makes this bid go long and really, and it'd be easy for me to deal with it, man. I appreciate all the love, man, and support, man. You know, you make sure me and all the guys stay connected, man. And I can't do nothing but salute you, man. You know I'm ready to get down and sit to the table with you, man. So it's all love, man. One love, man. 38, man. Brandon Mitchell, man. Appreciate everything.